Uh, let's go to uh, Rob, who's an Aston Villa fan. All right, Rob. All right, Rob. How are you, pal? How are you doing? All right, All right Rob. Rob. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Yeah, we're good, mate. I mean, look, what did you make of the, the penalty? Well, personally, I think it's an abs- absolute tra- travesty. I don't think it was. A pe- I don't think it was a penalty. Martinez never put the ball down to um, with his hand. He did, mate. He, he did. He did. He didn't. <sighs> I'll watch it back. The ball stopped and he passes it to... He doesn't pass it to Mings. To, he doesn't pass it to his feet. He passes it in front of Mings to say, go on, play forward. That's what he does. And Mings handballs it. But he, look, you might say it's harsh, but... It's not harsh. Yeah, but Arsenal, Arsenal got away with it last Yeah, but that week. doesn't yeah. make it right, yeah. Rob. It's a penalty, mate. It's a harsh one. No, no, it's not. It's not even it's harsh. Very, no, no. It's a very harsh one. No, do you know what? It's stupidity. No, no. I don't think it is. It's stupid. So you can remember the Arsenal situation, right? What did you think of that? Should it have been a penalty? No. Well, the Arsenal one? Yeah, yeah. It shouldn't have been a penalty. Okay. So no, you, Hold on, hold on, hold on. You've just said to me, Arsenal got away with one. What do you mean by that? Yeah, they got away. They got away. They got away with. Right. That. Okay. So, do you think it's a penalty? No, I don't. So, what do they get away with? What? <laughs> no, 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 no. What you've said to me, they got away with it. I'm asking you now, what did they get away with? They got away with what I think they got away with. What? They turned. They turned around. <laughs> no, 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 Rob. Rob, I'm not letting you. Get, no, Rob. No, no, Rob. Rob, just admit no, you thought it was listen. a penalty. He put the phone down. He's put the phone down. <laughs> He's gone. He's put the phone down. So they got away with it, but he didn't think it was a penalty. I'm like, yeah. what, what'd you get away we, with? We've tied him up with knots. It's right. fine, because no, no. he thought that was a penalty. He thought they got away with it. It's happened tonight, and he's saying it's not a penalty. It's he, a penalty. He, that's why he put the phone down. And, 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 uh, can someone explain to me, right? I've done coaching. I've played the game a long time. You've done coaching. Why are they passing the ball to the centre-half for the centre-half to pass it back to the keeper? I don't get it. I always fault. Keeper passes it. The the, the, the two centre half split. The keeper passes it to the centre half, and you know left or right, and you play from there. What I don't get is why that the centre half's taking the goal kick. I don't understand it. Well, Someone needs to try and explain it to me. Well, I know he's going to say, "Well, we can pass it back to the keeper, and the keeper's got the options." But the keeper's got the options if he has it. But Martinez took it right. So Martinez took it and he gives it to Mings. Yes, but he gives it to Mings yes. because and Mings play, picks it up. He plays it in front of him. So he's yeah. saying to him, I'm playing the ball in front of you. To go and play. Your first touch should be in front. Get your head up. What options have you got? But Mings thinks I'm on goal kicks. That's why he's picked it up. I'm going to pick well, it up. Well, I'm going to put it down. I'm going to pass it to Martinez and then we play. But well, why do that? I don't, well, I don't, I don't well, understand the, it. So, Tactically, I don't get right, it. Right, so they all do it now, right? I know, but they, they why? So... From when when I see it, your two centre halves are either side of the six yard box. Yes. The two full backs, if you're playing a four, are then on the touch line, and then you've got your midfielders showing to feet. So really, in theory, you should have one, two, three, four, five. You should have six options if you're on the ball. The keeper, your centre half partner, two full backs, and the two midfielders. As six options as a, as a centre half. So somehow you should get out. So yeah. that, that, that's the thing. I'm not. I'm just saying. That's I know, but why the theory. can't? But why can't the keeper? Well, they should. Has got six options if he has yeah. the ball at the start. Well, the keeper. I think the and keeper he, should play. And then play he makes a the decision. The keep. What so the all f- you're doing, all you're doing is the centre half is passing it to the worst player on the pitch. I know, Jay. I've had and then, this and then, it, and then it's live. I know. I and know. then they can press. I know. I've had this conversation. I know. I, I, I just don't understand it. And then what happens is, is well, you get that, you get that because Mings thinks. Oh, I'm on, I'm, I'm on the goal can, kick. Can we but Martinez cut? thinks, well, let, let's play. So Mings has been out injured a long time, right? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to give him an excuse here, but he has been out injured. He's yeah, well, not been involved in this. He's, he had a he's big made a injury. Mistake. He's made a mistake. Can't he's, get away from it. He can't pick the ball. Here's the other thing, right? Why didn't he use his feet to give it back to him? Why is he? I don't understand why. It's the easiest thing to do. Is control your foot and pass it back, even if he thinks I know. he's not. It's a lot of effort to pick the ball. Pick the ball up, it's harder. <laughs> You've got to lean down. <laughs> I don't get why he even picked it up. Yeah, it's, even it's if he so, didn't think. I just really, I, I really don't get it. I'm no. seeing it a lot. No. And I'm like, honestly, I sat here and I think, I, I, I'm trying to figure out the tactical 
way of why they why they're doing that. They're all at it, mate. They're all at, even under eights are at it. They are. It's crazy. Let's go to Sean. He's a Villa fan, all right, Sean? Right, Sean. Hi guys. Um, I'm uh, uh, chiming in about the penalty uh, yeah. instant. Go on. Right. First of all, it was Mings's fault completely. Um, he should be paying attention. And weirdly enough, about a month ago, in the German division, which the referee was also German, by the way, there was an instant where uh, it was, again, Grutha first and Madgeberg, which is like the second division. Good team. Mm. There was two exact same incidents um, where penalties had to be given because uh, defenders picked up the ball, um, as what happened tonight to Minx. Yeah. So um, I just find it, it, it. I just find it really ridiculous that, that this is happening. Like it's the most ridiculous thing to do. Like you are honestly killing your team for something in my eyes that doesn't really need to happen. The centre half doesn't need to take the goal kick. The keeper yeah. takes the goal kick and just play from there. Yeah, to be honest, I, I think it's an element of time wasting that Villa do do a bit and, uh, as well as to kind of slow it down. So, um, but usually we get away with that. But <laughs> it um, it didn't happen. It didn't happen in this game. And uh, um, yeah, it looks bad on Mings, but I, you know, um, I, 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 I it, it was what it was really. Mm. Are Aston Villa having a bit of a wobble? Um, uh, what, the thing is, when the fixtures came out at the start of the season, I looked at November and I went, "That that is going to be a horrendous month for us." Um, and it, you know, it's it's still not over. We got we got Liverpool, we got Juventus coming up as well. Um, so it's it's a, it's a hard period for uh, Villa, but um, yeah, I think uh, the the one thing I did want to uh, discuss was. Uh, Watkins and Duran playing together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. Because there's there's such a push from the media and everything about oh you, they've got to find a way for them both to play, or Duran will be off. But the reality is, um, they can't play together. They um, they both they both try and take up the exact same position and leave a massive hole in the middle of the park. So it has to be one or the other, or it has to work how it has been working. And yeah. they get, they're both getting goals, um, as it works. I think the issue so. when you play them together is that there isn't, because they haven't really played together much, there isn't a relationship between them. So when he goes, right, let's let's play them together, we'll play two up front, I don't feel like there's any kind of cohesion between the pair of them. They're there and they're top no. players and they'll get you goals. But in, in terms of actually playing together... I don't think they've kind of built a relationship yet. Link up play is not there. No, they've both got the relationship with Rogers, and um, yeah, I, I I think it it needs to stay that way because what happens if we get used to playing with two up front and then we get an injury? We we actually don't have another striker that we can put up there in that situation. So um, I I think it works as it is, and I I I don't. I don't think we actually need to change it. And he's still, yeah, he can kick off. But, you know, apparently Monchi came out and said over 40 football uh, clubs put offers in or showed well, interest to. in Gerard. There were 40 offers. I don't think 40 clubs, but 40 offers, no, but yeah. 40, yeah. No, yeah. 40, 40 interest, I yes. think, yeah. yeah. But, mm. No, good. But, yeah, he's he, he's, he's an uh, exceptional talent and uh, he'll have his time. But Watkins... For for how Villa work, everything goes through Watkins, mm. uh, and he has to start. Um, and do you know? Do you know what, right, Shawnee? So, if Villa are winning and Watkins are scoring goals, and even even if Duran comes off the bench and scores goals, Duran hasn't really got a, a point. I know he, he stormed off, or I got a little bit upset at the last um, Champions League game um, at, at, at your place, and what where this where this problem will really manifest is if. Duran doesn't start and Villa start losing. And he will then feel, I need my chance. I need my chance. I need my chance. And you've got, well, you've got Liverpool at the weekend, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. So Watkins didn't score against Spurs. You got beat. He got beat tonight. Watkins doesn't score. He'll start when he thinks it's the right thing to start Watkins against Liverpool at the weekend. But 
if you come up against another defeat and Watkins doesn't score, that that's where the problems will really start. Mm. That's when it really not when they're scoring, it's fine. You can have a little squabble. It's when they're not scoring. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, but that, that that's when Unai Emery actually earns his money. You know, mm. and yeah. he's, he's he's got to manage them then. The yeah. Years, but yeah. that's that's his job. Mm. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy, Monday to Thursday nights from ten on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talksport.